So we are moving on to CPCTC today. And what that stands for is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So uh, we've got that there. And our acronym, as I just mentioned, is CPCTC. And I won't ever make you guys write corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Um, but you do have to write CPCTC um, in the triangle. And all this means is if we have triangles congruent, so if triangles are congruent, which means we have to prove that they're congruent in our proofs, then all three pairs of sides and all three pairs of angles are congruent as well. So it brings us back to, if I go back in the notes to 4.3, this day it brings us back to this, saying that if we have triangles that are congruent, right? So if triangles are congruent, then we know all three or six of these things. We know each angle is congruent and we know each pair of sides that corresponds are congruent as well. So this is just gonna be an extra step in our proof um, because not, by now you know obviously we only need three things to prove congruent. So for example, these triangles are congruent by side, angle, side, um, but by CPC, TC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are also congruent. Uh, we also know angle A is congruent to angle X. We know angle B is congruent to angle Y. And we know side AB is congruent to side XY. So let's take a look what this would look like in a proof.